Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 2012 Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG. Now this is part of the third generation that has been in production since 2011 and it's the longest generation of the uh, SLK range and uh, yeah it's being the AMG version it's got extras on it you don't get on other versions including a sports exhaust system, 7 speed automatic gearbox, AMG sports suspension and ventilated disc brakes all round. It's also got the uh, rarest engine of the lot because unfortunately this engine was only around from 2012 to 2015 and uh, yeah it's the uh, largest engine you could get in this car and it's a 5.5 litre V8 engine producing 415 horsepower and 398 pounds feet of torque but like I said sadly the engine has been discontinued now with the uh, V6 version being the largest and most powerful version you can get in this car uh, which is a shame because the uh, V8 engine in this is really rather smooth it's incredibly powerful as you can tell by the figures but it also uh, helps propel the car in terms of acceleration and top speed uh, incredibly uh, well as well especially for a car that has far less power than some cars that are also front engine rear wheel drive and a convertible and uh, yeah being a convertible it's got a hard top roof that comes down just can't show you on this game unfortunately but it is still a really rather uh, nifty uh, hard top roof and uh, yeah like most modern Mercedes it's got a really nice interior everything here you could uh, ask for though quite frankly having a uh, large powerful high revving V8 engine I would have preferred a uh, manual gearbox but unfortunately that gearbox is only available on a less powerful smaller engine uh, vehicles being a convertible though, obviously you've got a reduction in boot space, but when the roof is up, you've still got plenty of space in there. But it is obviously really rather, rather, rather reduced by quite a lot when the roof is down. One thing I am glad with uh, other, like, other SLK uh, cars, they've not tried to cram two seats in the rear. It's just a true and out on that sports car with just two seats, which is always good to see. Uh, I like the looks of it. It's a little bit better than the previous generation, but one thing this car does not have over that previous generation is a lack of weight, as this one weighs 3,527 pounds, whereas the previous generation weighed in at only 3,400 pounds, and uh, yeah, it was also a smaller car as well. So uh, yeah, this is a car that has a pretty much a split personality in some regards, and to show you that, we're going to take it out into the open road and see what it can do. So yeah, I say it's got a split personality because yeah, this car is ferociously fast. And it sounds really rather good as well. As you can see it revs to more than 7,000 RPM, which is obviously quite high for a, uh, a V8 engine, especially one as large as this. And I'll let you listen to it for a little bit because it is a good sounding engine. You have arrived at your destination. So yeah, even though I do like the sound of the engine, it's not quite as uh, good in, in terms of noise as the uh, previous generation, but this car does have a good 60 horsepower more than that previous generation, and a good 22 extra pounds feet of torque as well. So even though it does weigh nearly uh, 150 pounds more than that previous generation, it is far quicker. Not 60 is dealt with in 4.5 seconds, not to 100 is dealt with in 10.4 seconds, and it's electronically limited to 170 miles an hour, but in this game you can get it up to 199, which is, yeah, once again, really, really rather quick. And it's also got 50-50 weight distribution, so uh, even though it does weigh a fair bit, it's at least balanced. And uh, yeah, those ventilated disc brakes do help stop what is obviously quite a heavy vehicle. But I say it's got split personality because despite all of this power, all the acceleration, the noise, and the obviously uh, redone engineering underneath in terms of brakes and suspension it doesn't really feel like it wants to be flung around, slid around you know furiously driven in any way really it feels a lot like a cruiser more than an out and out sports car especially because of that weight and the fact it's got all of the toys that you could ever ask for and a 7 speed automatic gearbox so you know you've not got a manual to make the most of that a ferocious amount of power from such a large engine so yeah it feels yeah more like a car that you just sit back and relax and drive more than one that you're going to uh, hoon around a track or uh, around a b road or anything so uh, yeah which is a bit of a shame because the previous generation was 
a car that it felt like it was wanting to be driven hard and that was more encouraged by the fact that it had that ferocious sounding engine and the lack of weight as well while also being a smaller car so uh, yeah in all in all I do prefer the previous generation despite the fact that this car is undoubtedly better built and a more usable car on a day to day basis and uh, yeah more modern as well so it's gonna be easier to live with but on the whole I do prefer the previous generation uh, which we haven't had in a Forza game for a long time now I do wish it should be a did get that generation back because yeah it is a corker of a generation if you've ever seen that Top Gear episode where Clarkson races it against a Porsche Boxer while trying to avoid getting shot at by the army then you'll know why I like that car so much not just because of the engine noise but also because it is a uh, absolute hoot to drive nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye